Okay, in this video, we're going to set up mailing lists and our first autoresponders. Now, as with everything we do, we always try and make a very easy to use dashboard. So you can see you've got the option to create a list up here, some quick start that's for managing subscribers. We'll do that in the next video and uh, creating a broadcast and everything else. So we're just going to get started. First of all, just creating a list and we have default lists by um, when we install. And you can see this is the default list and everything you need is right here. Now we have two different types, actually three different types of uh, setups. You have um, the ability to create groups, which kind of like segments for your lists. And you can group different mailing lists uh, together. For example, if I was doing a product launch with this, um, I would have a group of different mailing lists for each level. So, for example, for people who buy the base product, uh, maybe they're on one list. I've got another group then that maybe, um, say, have bought the one-time offer. So I can then group all of those um, together and then just blast an email to that entire group. I don't have to then keep messing around with individual lists. I can then send out to that one group and then maybe I've got other groups as well doing other things. That way I can organize and segment. That's what the groups are for. We also have the ability to set up custom fields, which I'll show you in a moment. Um, private lists, in other words, they're not publicly accessible. They're ones that you will assign to privately. And then again, paid and then I'll show you a summary of how many subscribers you have and then this is the short code for actually um, creating a little form that you can embed anywhere on your site and what have you. Now if you um, just use the default list each list also has this little off-site section. This is the form information that you can use to integrate into Optimize Press, um, Lead Pages, or any other system, uh, including List Rocket, which is one of the one-time offers we offered. But you can then click on this and then set up some base information. Just get your information, change the height, width, and everything else. And here is the form. This is what you would copy and paste into Optimize Press 1 or 2 or any of the other great list building systems like List Rocket, which is our one that we included with uh, the one-time offer on this product and uh, all the other bits and pieces out there. So they, that's that real quick. But let's create a new list. So you just click Add New. Just like this, then you give it a name and we'll call it um, test list and then we'll make it public. So we're not going to make it private. There are no groups created yet, so we're not going to um, create one. If you want to create a group, just come down here and create your group. And then this is for your own notifications. So I'm just going to set it to one of mine real quick and then boom, that is saved and done. You can see here's the test list. Again, we can grab our information. We can manually add subscriber, a subscriber, but I'll show you in the next video importing subscribers. So we're good to go. We now have a list. Now, if we want to set up an autoresponder that's going to go to this list, come over to autoresponders, click on that. And then what we'll do, it says, hey, we got none yet. And then it says how Often do we check for new autoresponders? Well, I'm going to do it again every two minutes. So I'm going to change that. I'm going to save that interval. So that's done. Now let's add a new autoresponder. So what we're going to do here is we're going to set an autoresponder. We're going to create an email and we're going to assign it to a list. Now, the cool thing that we've done here is you, unlike a lot of systems, they only have one autoresponder for one list and all the rest of it. Ah, to heck with that. I thought that was too silly to do that. Maybe we got multiple lists all in different groups and that and we want to have them all on the same autoresponder. So now you can see that we've got all of the different lists in here and we can say test list and everything else. So I'm going to have this set up to go to both and we're going to call this main autoresponder because again we want to build trust value and everything else. So we can set this up. We can also, this is something you can't do with a lot of systems. If you've already got, say, 1,000, 2,000, 5,000, 10,000, 100,000 people on your list, you want to be able to maybe send out to those people and apply your new autoresponder to those that have already subscribed. Again, with a lot of autoresponder systems, you cannot do that. 
that's a pain in the backside. So you can also now assign it to existing members on your list. Now we're using a blank one. We haven't got any subscribers yet. So we're just gonna leave that as is. Now, another thing you can do is you can choose an existing newsletter that you've already created or create a new one. So I'm just gonna create one here that says, welcome to um, the secret art of success. Now I'm gonna just leave this as a generic welcome email. You can put your promos in here and everything else. And uh, we'll rock and roll from here. But again, you get a little HTML editor. And you can put in hi. And then we also have all of the personalization options. They're all down here. So you can put in, um, if you're using like a, an email without a name so you're just collecting the email you could just do hi comma if you want to use the name again you can use any of these little short codes and uh, insert them into the editor in fact i'll just scroll down here so here is um one and this is the subject you can just click any one of these and you can see it just injects the short code right in here but let's just keep it generic for now hi uh this is Sean and I wanted to welcome you to the site. And then just all the best. Sean. Now, again, I'm keeping this very generic here. But you can also then link up stuff. You can include um, images, media, and everything else. You've got the full gambit of stuff here for your WYSIWYG editor and that's all very cool and again like I said you've got all these customization options you can choose a template so in this case I'm just going to choose I'm going to choose one of the default one or maybe I've got a custom ones we'll go into the themes later on and then we're going to have that go out immediately so zero would be that and then it's good boom done and that's it there is the main autoresponder and we've got that set up. That's the first one. And it says, okay, where it's going to, the list sent immediately, it's active and when it was created. All well and cool. Now I can just set up another one and another one and another one and they can add my entire sequence. So, uh, and the other cool thing is we've also had a little search option up here where you can search within your autoresponders if you're looking for a certain thing that you can't remember if you put it in there, boom. We allowed you to do that as well. So there you go. The other thing I'll cover here is custom fields. Now, you'll notice that we, you know, a few months ago I said, well, maybe this is email only. Let's set up so we can actually have some custom fields. So for example, maybe this one is first name. Um, if you were doing it that way, and you can see it creates what's called a slug. And then uh, first name of subscriber. And then you can also uh, add this, enter your first name. This is kind of a little watermark that happens inside the text boxes if you want. And we can make that a required field or not. And then you can say what you want it to be. You can actually create complex sign up forms to collect data. Everything from their country, their age, their, you know, all the other good bits and pieces that you may want. And again, you can, these registration forms are very, very easy to set up per list. So we'll just use first name and leave it at that and we'll always show that. Um, or you can just assign this field only to custom lists. So again, lots and lots of options and uh, you're good to go. Actually, I should, I forgot to choose that and make sure that's good. And there we go. Now we have um, first name assigned to every list. So we're good to go with that. So that's how you create a mailing list you can create autoresponders and set up your custom fields. And then in the next one, we're actually going to send, we're going to look at themes and actually sending our first email.